Ever wonder how much money do small YouTubers make? Well, today I'm being open and honest about how much money I really make with a small YouTube channel of just 20,000 subscribers. Okay, so basically anyone could be a YouTuber, but only select few get included into the YouTube Partner Program. So as a YouTuber, once you reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 365 day period, you will go into review. So this way YouTube can look at your channel and make sure that you don't violate any terms of service or their guidelines. So if everything checks out by YouTube, they will approve you to join their YouTube Partner Program, which means you can have ads running on your channel as long as you have an AdSense account linked to your YouTube channel and that you set up ads in your Creator Studio, which I talked about in this video here. We'll dive into the specifics of what determines to pay in just a second so make sure you hold on or you can go ahead and check the description box below for timestamps so you can skip ahead so Google AdSense will go ahead and verify things for YouTube towards the middle of the month and then we as youtubers get paid out closer to the 20th to the 25th of the month for me specifically I usually get paid either the 21st or the 22nd unless it ends on a weekend and then I just get paid the next business day Okay, so before July, YouTubers only had what is known as CPM, which is also cost per mil or cost per 1,000 impressions, to go off of to calculate an estimate of how much they're going to get paid. For anyone who's still not sure what that means, basically it's just how much an advertiser is willing to pay YouTube to place an ad on your videos. This determines greatly by what type of content you make, who your target audience is, and what your niche is. And a niche like mine, who's kind of a variety of style topic my CPM is all over the place per video and due to YouTube partner program rules I'm actually not allowed to show you what my CPM is but I can tell you I've had videos that were above $20 for my CPM and I've had videos that were below $5 for my CPM also an ad impression is when a viewer watches or interacts with that ad for at least 30 seconds so either they watch the video for 30 seconds or they click on that ad to interact with it on a different site now something good that happened this month is what's known as RPM which if you are calculating your CPM and it seemed like your payment was way off, like it didn't make sense, a lot of mine did, it's because it doesn't take into account that YouTube actually takes a portion of what we make. Specifically, they take 45% of what we make. So RPM actually gives you a better idea of how much you make because it's your actual revenue per impression or revenue per mil, which is RPM is what it stands for. All right, but I hope that clarified what the difference between CPM and RPM is. But now that we've talked about that, let's dig into what my actual income was for the month of June, basically, how much I got paid in July, and what my overall lifetime income looks like for a channel with 20,000 subscribers. So when you go to Creator Studio, this is like your main dashboard. You can either select where it says channel analytics here and go to channel analytics, or off to the side underneath your channel, um, it'll say analytics. Okay, again, YouTube automatically defaults you for the last 28 days, so you're gonna wanna make sure up here in your date range, you change it to um, whatever month you're trying to look at. You can also do like um, last seven days, last 90 days, 365 days, lifetime, which we'll look at in a second. But I just wanna look at June, so I make sure it's there. Okay, so it says in June, people watched your videos 145,000 times. So I have 145,000 views, um, which you're gonna see right here. My watch hours were 6.3 thousand watch hours, which if you guys don't remember, you need 4,000 watch hours and a 365 day period to um, be monetized once you reach 1,000 subscribers. And I get that um, every single month. So I stay monetized. I don't have to worry about ever falling out of monetization unless I magically just like lose all data on my channel. Um, I also, this is low for my channel, but I had um, 835 subscribers gained last month in June. And then my estimated earnings was only $334.48. This is one of the reasons why I diversify my income by doing affiliate link, work with companies through either sponsorships or doing stock footage for them. So I do stock photography or stock videography, which that's actually my favorite <laughs> rather than doing sponsorships. Um, so just like freelance work. So definitely diversify your income as much as possible. Do not just focus on your AdSense. Obviously no one can survive off of $334, especially as a mama with a family. So, so if you go here, if you click on where it says your estimated revenue to make sure that you're actually on that tab, 
you're gonna see see more we'll go ahead and click here so you'll kind of see here I always like changing this I don't like the line graph so I'll change it to a bar graph so over here you can see line chart go ahead and switch that to a bar graph and it shows you my top earning videos for last month so again you just want to make sure in this corner right here you're in the month you're looking for or the time period you're looking for another thing you want to notice is um, views are not the main factor because down here if we look I have this video right here that has gained me just under 1900 views last month and about $18 so you guys can do the math there then if you scroll down a little bit down here we're gonna see this video right here which is my labor and delivery vlog got um, roughly about the same amount of views so 1724 versus this one was 1869 so about a hundred less and it only earned me $2.23 versus this one earned me $18.28. Okay, so at the end of June, which is the money that would have hit my account by July, um, I had 2.5 million views, um, 118,000 watch hours. This is just crazy. I don't really look at my lifetime in a while, but um, just shy of 20,000 subscribers, so 19.8 thousand, which you guys can see right here, I now have 20.6 thousand. And my estimated total earnings revenue is $4,883.13. This right here, if you click on your estimated revenue, you guys can see that obviously my channel was started in, which I already talked about my how to go viral as a small channel video, um, was started in January, but I didn't hit monetization until November, which is right here when I started making money. So yeah, I made 20 26 cents the very first day that I was monetized as a brand new channel um, on that day with 663 views on just that day alone on my first monetized day so obviously I cannot live off of my AdSense alone and I'm really excited to get this channel monetized to see what the difference is because this is a totally different niche and this is technically a higher paying CPM niche than what my motherhood lifestyle channel is which I am planning on doing a CPM niche video so if you guys are curious to see what CPMs look like for different niches. Maybe you're new to YouTube and you're trying to figure out what niche to do. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and watch the video on your screen right here. I'll also have it pinned down in the comments below. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together. We don't draw on pillows. Okay, Shh. it's okay. Just let mommy do this real quick, okay? Sit down. You're adorable, but sit down. Oh, not on your sister. I'm gonna have to do this later.